The Dalai Lama escaped from Chinese rule Tibet to Dharamsala in northern India in 1959. Since then, this has been the site of the Tibetan government in exile. Over the years, the Dalai Lama has worked to hand over more and more of his political role to a democratically elected prime minister. On March 20th, Tibetans in exile will directly elect a prime minister for the third time, along with members of the 15th parliament in exile. In October, 60% of Tibetan exile communities voted in primaries, resulting in three runoff candidates for prime minister. Those three candidates held the first ever televised debate this week in Washington before an audience of exiled Tibetans. The broadcast will be seen in Tibet and worldwide on the Internet. The leading candidate is a Tibetan American affiliated with Harvard University. Lobsang Sangye grew up in a Tibetan settlement. He is a Fulbright scholar with a law degree from Harvard. Number one problem, obviously, is uh, on is uh, how to resolve the issue of Tibet uh, so that we can regain our freedom and then the, the divided uh, family members inside and outside Tibet can be united uh, in Tibet. Tenzin Tethong is a former representative of the Dalai Lama in New York and Washington. Currently, he's a distinguished fellow at Stanford University. The most important uh, responsibility for the exile government is to uh, work for the cause of a free Tibet and for the rights of the Tibetan people. Tashi Wangdu has run a half dozen of the government in exile's departments over the years. Most recently, he represented the Dalai Lama in Europe. It's very important for us to see what we can do to survive as a Tibetan uh, people in exile and to be able to maintain our identity and continue the struggle uh, till we find a solution. By August, Tibetans in exile will have a new prime minister. It's a choice that many are considering very seriously. Susan Jackson, VOA News, Washington.